Hey everyone, I'm Dina from simplyhomecook.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these chewy banana oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Every bite of these cookies are loaded with intense banana flavor and melty morsels of semi-sweet chocolate. They are truly a delicious treat and probably the best way to use up all right bananas. So let me show you how to make them. The first thing you want to do is peel two ripe bananas or about one cup of bananas total. And make sure your bananas are nice and ripe because that will give you that sweet, delicious banana flavor. And if you don't have ripe bananas, you can always ripen them in the oven by placing them on a parchment lined baking sheet and baking them for about 15 to 20 minutes at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you've got your bananas into the bowl, you can start mashing them up. And I just used a potato masher, but if you don't have one at home, you can honestly just use a fork. It'll take a little bit longer, but it'll get the job done. So you're looking for like a chunky applesauce consistency here. So it's going to start to liquefy and that's totally okay. We want that to happen. Once the bananas are all mashed up, you just want to set them aside for later. Now in a separate bowl, add one cup of unsalted softened butter, along with three quarter cups of golden brown sugar, and half a cup of granulated sugar. Then use an electric hand mixer to mix everything together. And you want to start off on a lower speed because if you start off on high speed right away, everything is going to fly right out of your bowl. So once you see the butter and the sugar start to cream together, you can pick the speed up to high and then cream it until it's got a smooth, creamy consistency. Now you want to carefully crack two large eggs right into the butter and sugar mixture. Then add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, along with the mashed up bananas. Then bring back the mixer and then combine everything together on medium speed until all the ingredients are well incorporated together. Now hold a fine mesh sieve right over the bowl and add two cups of all-purpose flour, along with three quarter teaspoons of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. Now lightly tap the sifter so all the ingredients get nicely sifted into the bowl. Then use your hand mixer and mix everything on low speed. And just keep mixing until there's no more traces of flour visible. At this point, the aroma of the cinnamon, nutmeg, and mashed up bananas are going to fill your home. And it's just going to smell incredible. Alright, we're nearing the final steps of this recipe. So go ahead and add three cups of old-fashioned rolled oats into the bowl along with one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And the chocolate chips are totally optional. If you prefer it without the chocolate chips, the cookies still taste absolutely amazing without them. At this point, you want to use a spatula to mix everything together. Now take out an 18 by 13 inch baking sheet or cookie sheet and line it with some parchment paper. But then grab a medium sized cookie scoop and scoop the cookie dough right onto the parchment paper. And make sure to place them about two inches apart because they do spread a little bit during baking. Now this part is optional but I always dot my cookies with some chocolate chips on top because why not? I mean it's chocolate, the more the merrier, right? But it also makes them look prettier once they're baked. So you want to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 8 to 9 minutes. So if you have overripe bananas sitting on your kitchen counter, you know exactly which recipe to go to. These cookies are seriously so delicious, they might actually be better than banana bread. Did I say that too loud? Yes I did. These really are so so good. The texture is just incredible. It's chewy and it's soft. The melted chocolate is just a perfect combination with the banana flavor. They're insanely delicious. I hope you guys give these a try. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.